Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> I just wanted to do that where it's at, but they're like coming at you right away. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty fun. So, yeah, this is kind of like the, the quote unquote fear of the dark room. And as you can tell, it's pretty dark, pretty scary, but not that scary. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go all the way around the perimeter here and get every enemy to spawn that will spawn when I touch certain points. And then I will kill them off, because it'll make lighting the torches in this room 800 times easier. <laughs> and this is also why I got another stick, because the extra sticks mean that I can do stuff like, you know, light them all at once and just kind of letting my stick burn out <laughs> if I wanted to. But anyway, let's open up this chest. There's another stray fairy inside there. And... Let's get to lighting. This also gives you a little bit of ambient light around yourself as well, which makes it easier to see where the poop you are going. And where's the third torch? There she is. I think my torch is gonna, I mean, my uh, stick is gonna burn out before I can save it. Nope! I was able to save it. Moving on with the groove on. Oh no! The minigame returns again. And down over here, um,. Should you fall down one of these holes, this is... You can't grab onto the ledges of these holes, by the way. Should you fall down... Oh, shoot! I was not paying attention. This will lead you into... <laughs> it'll lead you into the room directly below it. See that room? Yeah, that that's... That's a lot of lost progress. And that's pretty annoying. But anyway, we want to just kill these guys off so we can get through it safely. And this is like... Another sort of punishment area down there. So don't really mind the punishment area so much. Just get on... Actually, hold on. Isn't there a fairy in this room? No, there isn't. Okay, I just wanted to check that really quick. Maybe I'm thinking of another room. Um... I think... Since the minigame returns, I should do this with the utmost precision. <laughs> by the way, you can also kill those guys by shooting out of the flowers and into them, but they don't generally go where the flower is when you need them to be. And then what you end up doing is that because the platform moves out from under your feet, you don't have anything to land back on, you end up having to restart from the beginning, which stinks. Yeah, so let's let's just not even go down that route. <laughs> and alright, so here's this second one that's not getting in my way whatsoever. In fact, every everywhere that I've been to, it hasn't really been there. It's just it's been work- oh, oh, now it is. I was gonna say it's been working in my favor, but, hey, uh, now that I've got your attention... <laughs> okay, so that was basically this room in a nutshell, so yeah, it's just... There's not really much in the punishment area other than, I guess, a couple of grass things to, uh, recover your stuff. So let's go down the stairs and into another portion. And this leads us back into this room. Now, I remember that there is a chest over there. Well, that chest. Anyway, can I shoot the bubble with a bubble? Just for the kick? I can. Yes. Woo. So, anyway, we're back in this room. There's a torch. Yeah, it's still warm. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you something. This torch is still warm, too. And so that one was lit at some point, indicating that it was put out. And then there's this one down here, and that flower, as you can see, barely on the edge of the screen. Well, maybe it's not barely on the edge of the screen for you, but it is for me, because of that screen cutoff thing, as I mentioned before. There is a shortcut ladder, if you should go on this switch. You'd be like, oh, look from up here, we have a better view of that shrine below. But, yeah, you're not heavy enough to press down the switch. This ladder just appears out of nowhere. And yeah, now we got a shortcut down to that middle area, but kind of don't need to do anything there. <laughs> it's just more of a shortcut than anything. I mean, well, we, we sort of will, I, I guess, but we can do a lot of it from up here. Anyway, let's go up these stairs now. And oh, wait, wait, no, no, I took the. Yo, poopers. Poopers. Scooper doopers. That's right. Because <laughs> that led over. Yeah, because this was. So it wasn't the stairs I wanted to take. It was. Oh, that's right. That door is closed. That door needs some opening. <laughs> Alright, so. 
I'm actually supposed to go here now. Okay. Um, 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 num, num, num. Uh, let's just go and crack these open. By the way, there's a fairy in, um, I believe they put a mask over here in, in uh, Majora's Mask 3D, but in this one, I don't know if I'll even be able to pull this off, at least not without the dungeon's item. Uh, there's a fairy in that bee, oh shoot, in that beehive over there. Can I hit this from a distance? I wouldn't count on it. Uh, no. <laughs> so I'm probably better off hitting that from the other side and then putting on the mask. But anyway, let's see what's on. Let's see what's over here first. We've got. Oh no! It's Dinlofos, and it is vicious. Don't get hit by the fire; it'll just restart. <laughs> if you're in Deku form, don't you know about Din Dinlofos? Use the L targeting while defending and watch out for his fiery breath. Oh! I want to just shield. Ah! Shield has no effect on his fiery breath. They made the uh, ah! Dang you and your fiery breath. I just want to get around this fire, basically. That's what I'm trying to do here. But I can successfully just kind of tank all the hits if I wanted to, I suppose. <laughs> ah, that worked out just fine, I guess. But <laughs> I was trying to show you the proper battling technique for him. But yeah, what you're supposed to do is get out of the way of its fire. And you can do that by going off to the side of him. But whatever. <laughs> so, as I was saying... The Lilifos and Dinlafos are made much more different in this version because they are way too similar in Ocarina of Time, which is kind of nice. So now we got the bow, and this is the key dungeon item that I was talking about. We no longer ever have to use a Deku Bubble again. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think there's a couple of things, but still, never ever have to do shoot something precise again. By the way, there's also these to dodge the uh, the fire from the Dinlofos, but it's kind of risky because if you don't get in them on time, you're kind of going to have issues. Now, anyway. See this? See this target off in the distance? That was terrible aim. It's a little eyeball that you probably see me hit on the other side. I am... There we go. I was going to say, I am being a terrible aimer today because I just do not have the light touch. <laughs> but... That doesn't explain the bubbles, because I'm pretty sure I was pretty online with the bubbles. So those ladders um, are kind of a way on, in the other room to get you back up here a little bit quicker. If you should fall down into the water, which I didn't do. I just want to get myself on here, though. And now i got to wait for this to go back up. Now, wait for it. Wait for it. I said wait for it, relax, relax, we gotta wait until it gets as high as possible just to make sure we make it. There we go, and now we can crisscross over to this side and open the door. Oh no, oh no, not this boss, not this boss, it is known as a gecko, and it is pretty angry for sure. Pretty dang weak, but we don't need to be using our bubbles to take on this sucker. Attack him! like you would never attack him before. And after two hits, it calls the turtle! And now we've got to go back into Deku form. <laughs> and I think you know the deal now. Just knock it off. I should say knock it for a loop. Ah, there we go. Then while the turtle is stunned, take off that mask, get your bow and arrow out, and try and shoot it. Um, we're... And, okay, there we go. You can L-target it, but it's so squirmy that you're going to have to wait until it stops moving for you to actually shoot it. There we go. You are not going... Ah, poopers. Alright, we got to try and roll out of its way now. Ha! Switch back to your Deku form. Oh, shoot, I didn't get... Ah! I wanted to go inside. I didn't make it in time because I spun next to it instead of going in it. Yeah! There we go. Take this off. Get out your bow, L target, wait for it to stop moving. Maybe I'll switch to the mask ahead of time this time. There we go. Hey, turtle man. Turtle rider. Rad racer. <laughs> let's, let's 
take this off again. You see how this is going now. There we go. Uh, did you stop moving? I can't even see you because of the black bars. The camera is not your friend here. There we go. Victory is ours, and for some reason the turtle disappears with him. I guess it just couldn't take any more abuse. And then there's another frog for you to write down on your list of frogs that you're keeping track of. Yes, you seriously gotta go through the temple to get through here for another frog for another side quest in the future. Yup. 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 <laughs> That's another thing of being repetitive for the sake of being repetitive. Alright, let's open this chest. It's a golden chest, which means it will contain the key to the boss's room, the boss key! Yeah, we need that. Let's move on. <laughs> There's still other stuff for us to do here. So, let's, oh, let's hit our face in the door. And I think I'm going to take a shortcut back to the main room that I was going to using those ladders just to kind of speed things along here because the ladders are right over here. Remember I said that? Remember? Yep, yep. <laughs> so now as you've seen, there's another, there's a chest in this room here. Now we've got some puzzles to do and it involves our bow. And with the power of the bow, we can start this side dealio here. See that torch? Oh. I really need to invert that access, but anyway, shoot through the fire and into the other torch. Do it carefully, then you'll be able to save your arrows by just shooting just one. Oh yeah, not only will this clear out the water from its poisonous, it'll also start this platform's moving sequence. And this moving sequence is important for shooting something else. Namely, something really annoying. This right here off to the side. Now, that thing right there, um, well, as, as long as I've got this, I'm going to um, go and hit that switch over there just because I'm gonna just kind of drop down and flop around anyway, so I have to do this anyway. So, yeah, hitting the switch will pop open a treasure chest up there. And then now, since the water is clear, Geronimo, I don't take damage from the water. All right. I wouldn't mind having another stick if, if, if uh, oh, that worked out actually. I wanted to do a horizontal slice, but I was still holding forward slightly. But that is okay. All right, so now I'll be able to open this chest, and this will contain another fairy. It's number nine. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. I forgot something. I forgot something over at this room. Remember I said that beehive? Yeah, I forgot to shoot it. Don't forget to shoot your beehives, kids. Uh, 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 come on, just li little gentle touches to your PK gam. Little gentle touches. I'm just, go I'm just like going either zero to sixty, it, just, just for no seeming, like seemingly no reason whatsoever in my touch. But it's, it's really quite possible to just, like, just look look how gently you can move here. But I'm just going, uh, 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 uh. yeah, it's just not working out. <laughs> anyway, let's move on here. And, oh yeah, I can't jump on that from over here. But that is okay. Uh, do I have any more? No, I don't have any more fairies here. That's okay, though, too. Um... Let's see here, I'll put... Oh no, wait, I, I can't... Yeah, I, I don't need to put that on. I was going to use the flower to get across, but I'm going to have to take it off anyway. Now, see this? You've actually got to... And this is very ridiculous. You've got to aim yourself to shoot a, a arrow through this fire and into that torch. See that? Yeah, good luck with this. Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to take a couple revolutions, isn't it? <laughs> This is just so, so ridiculous. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> no, I'm too high that time. Uh, talk about annoying design. And you do have to keep adjusting yourself. Oh, I got really lucky there. You do have to keep adjusting yourself because of the, um, the spinny spin this. It doesn't really keep you on at the same angle at all times, so... Yeah, that's how I kept twitching myself around there, but I got so lucky there. 
Uh, how many more rooms do we have left here? Because I'm... I don't think there was five fairies in the last room. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll think as to which fairies that I missed and end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I finish the temple. Look how much time we have. I can actually do stuff. I can, I can mess around here a little bit. I can't believe this. This, like, I, like I don't feel pressured for once. <laughs> so I'll just keep swinging my sword here all day long.